LK99 is said to be a room temperature superconductor, a groundbreaking discovery that could conduct electricity without losing energy. But many experts are skeptical, thinking it might be too good to be true. If it does work, it would mean things like everlasting phone batteries and trains floating on tracks. To put it simply, if LK99 is real, it's like finding a unicorn in your garden. Not impossible, but highly unlikely. Now, LK99 is a polycrystalline material made out of lead, oxygen, phosphorus, and copper. And if you look at it, you wouldn't be impressed. It's a gray-black solid that looks like a piece of coal or graphite. Nothing fancy or shiny about it, but according to its discoverers, it has incredible properties that could change the world. Superconductors are materials that can carry electric currents without any resistance or loss of energy. This means they can create powerful magnetic fields, store energy efficiently, and transmit electricity over long distances without any waste. They are used in many applications such as MRI machines, particle accelerators, and maglev trains. However, there's a catch. Most superconductors only work at very low temperatures, close to absolute zero. To achieve these temperatures, you need expensive and complicated cooling systems that use liquid helium or nitrogen. Some superconductors can work at higher temperatures, but they still require very high pressures to do so. And these conditions make superconductors very difficult and costly to use in everyday situations. That's why LK99 is such a big deal. It's supposed to be a superconductor at room temperature and ambient pressure. That means you don't need any cooling or compression to make it work. And in simple words, we're talking about cars that can float above the road. The discovery of LK99 was announced by a team from Korea University, led by Sukbai Lee and Jihoon Kim in July, 2023. They uploaded their papers to Archive, an online repository of preprints that are not peer reviewed or verified by other scientists. They claimed that they observed two key signs of superconductivity in LK99, zero electrical resistance and the Meissner effect. The Meissner effect is when a superconductor expels magnetic fields from its interior, causing it to levitate above a magnet. They even posted videos of their experiments on YouTube showing LK99 floating in midair. As soon as their papers went online, the internet went crazy. It became a viral sensation on social media, with thousands of people sharing and commenting on the news. But the scientific community was divided on LK99. Some are excited to test it out, while others criticize the Korean team's work, pointing to mistakes in their findings. It's almost like the infamous cold fusion incident of 1989, when two chemists boasted about achieving nuclear fusion at room temperature, only to be as wrong as a weather prediction on Venus. Many have tried to study LK99's properties, but so far, no one's found any superconductivity, except one Chinese group that said they measured near zero resistance at minus 261 degrees Fahrenheit, but other scientists are not buying it. So, LK99 may or may not be the physics breakthrough of a lifetime, but it's definitely a fascinating and controversial topic to talk about. Thanks for watching. This is AI Girl signing off.